It is utter, utter shite. This right here is an authentic communist era badge from the Soviet Union. It's the only piece of communist propaganda that I own, and I wanted to show it to you because I'm talking about the interview. I want to take this opportunity to extend a heartfelt apology to the makers of I, Frankenstein. Just last week, I picked I, Frankenstein as my worst movie of 2014. And when I did that, I hadn't as yet seen the interview. I've now seen the interview. And let me say this. I, Frankenstein is a work of art worthy of Tarkovsky or David Lean or Orson Welles in comparison to the interview. The interview... After all of the controversy now, like we're well past Christmas Day, it wasn't going to be released, and now it is released. The truth is, see what I did there? Uh, the truth is, it's shite. It is utter, utter shite, and it is terrible. And I'm sure uh, North Korea is upset by it, and they have every right to be, because it, it is offensive to North Korea, but it's pretty much offensive to any moviegoer. Um, it's appallingly bad. Um, it's got this very cool, interesting premise. The idea that um, Kim Jong-un would be just as celebrity obsessed as his father was and so would want to be interviewed by sort of an access Hollywood type reporter is kind of a cool, funny premise. But the film just, just doesn't know what to do with it. Kim Jong-un's character, you know, he's vain, he's insecure, um, he's obsessed with Katy Perry. Uh, but beyond that, and beyond the kind of obvious idea of like he's a short, fat man with a bad haircut, beyond those things, the film just just, just doesn't know where to go. And Randall Park, who plays Kim Jong Un, has a great time doing it, but it's a great performance in a very bad film. And the the reason why it's so bad, I mean, apart from the script, which is lousy, but the main reason why it's so bad is the character of Kim Jong Un should be the standout, craziest character in the entire film. He should stand out from everybody else. Because if you want to show how batshit fucking insane Kim Jong-un actually is, then you need to have him surrounded by somewhat normal people. And the film doesn't do that. Everybody in this film is a cartoon character. Everyone is a wildly over-the-top caricature. And so Kim Jong-un is just another wacky character in a film filled with wacky characters. James Franco is kind of a very flamboyantly over the top, really over the top. Um, he's like mugging for the camera almost um, all the time. And uh, it's very annoying, actually. Very, very annoying. And Rogan, uh, you know, plays like, you know, uptight neurotic TV producer uh, who probably goes home and gets stoned. So it's very much a standard kind of Seth Rogan thing. Um... And it's just really quite bad. And once they, you know, there are some very funny bits early on. Uh, if nothing else, Eminem might have a future as a comic actor. And there's also a very funny bit with Rob Lowe. Uh, but once it gets to North Korea, and once it goes through all the kind of standard cliche jokes about North Korea, you're then left with this kind of very silly kind of slapstick farce, you know, involving the CIA attempt to, uh, to assassinate Kim Jong-un. And it just isn't very funny. And um, it, it resorts to schoolboyish innuendo. I mean, there are, there, are, there, are in, there is innuendo and double entendre in this, in this film that would embarrass a carry-on movie. It's got a kind of a schoolboyish innuendo attitude to sex in general and to gay sex in particular. It's a very strange kind of homophobic uh, line running through this film. Um, it's a very, very odd film. And it just isn't very good. In fact, it's very bad. And you can tell when they start running out of ideas, they just throw in another kind of schoolboyish innuendo joke uh, or an F-bomb or uh, like a really kind of fast cut montage, like, you know, cut to some sort of hip hop. Uh, to actually hack Sony Pictures over this movie is a waste of otherwise good computer code. It's a very bad film. The truth is, it's shite. It is utter, utter shite.